Hi, I'm Chef Tony Matassa. In this video, we're going to butterfly and stuff this pork loin with brie, pineapple, and bacon. First, I'll show you how I prep the pineapple. Just cut the top and bottom off like so and stand it up. Now cut in half by slicing from top to bottom and cut around the inside of the skin, removing the center fruit and leaving a nice portion of fruit on the skin side. Slice a V down the center, removing the core, then julienne and rough chop. On the board today, we have a half pound of rough chopped applewood smoked bacon that I pre-cooked about halfway, a half cup of fresh sage leaves roughly chopped, a fourth of a cup of chopped fresh parsley, a fourth of a cup of chopped orange bell pepper, a half pound of diced brie, and a cup of roughly chopped fresh pineapple. Grab a large mixing bowl and everything's going in. Some fresh cracked black pepper and coarse salt to taste. Mix everything together thoroughly. And lightly coat the pineapple toppers with some black pepper and salt. To butterfly the pork loin, use a four to six pound roast and turn it fat side down along the thinner of the two sides with your blade at about a 45 degree angle slice from one side to the other making about a one inch deep incision now turning your knife's blade almost parallel with the cutting board make another one inch deep incision across the length of the loin and continue making the one inch deep parallel slices and unrolling your loin until it lays almost flat on your cutting board in areas where the muscle is a little thicker or your loin just won't cooperate, just make another incision or two. Thoroughly salt and pepper both sides of the loin. Optionally sprinkle with a little cayenne pepper and you're ready to stuff. Evenly spread your stuffing mixture out, leaving about two inches at the top with about an inch of space on all of the other sides. Once you have everything packed in, begin rolling the loin up. You may need to pull it towards you slightly and just continue until completely rolled. Placing the sliced side at the bottom of the roast. Don't worry about the stuff that fell out. There's still plenty trapped inside, I promise. Make some shallow slices across the top diagonally and tie the roll up with seven or eight pieces of kitchen twine and begin tying up one of the two ends. Switch to the other end of the roast and finally tie off the center last. Trim the excess twine, top with two reserved pineapple domes and place in a preheated 325 degree oven, grill or Kamado setup for indirect heat. After 35 minutes or so, move the pineapple domes to the ends of the roast just to brown the center up a little. My roast has been on about an hour and its internal temperature is reading about 130. At this point, I'll lay the pineapple domes on the grill, turn the loin over. Before closing, I'm going to remove the pineapple as well so that I can start on the sauce and open up my top and bottom dampers completely to finish cooking and browning the roast. To lay the fruit away from the skin, rough chop and place the fruit in a pan set over medium high heat. Add a tablespoon of unsalted butter and saute for a few minutes. A couple tablespoons of brandy, four more tablespoons of unsalted butter. Heat until the butter is just melted, then remove from the fire and check on your pork loin. When your roast internal temperature reads 135 to 140, remove, rest 15 to 20 minutes, slice in one and a half to two inch thick rings, remove the twine, top with the optional pineapple sauce, and enjoy. Thank you for watching. If you like what you've seen, please subscribe to our YouTube channel for our latest videos, or check us out at bbqguys.com, or hit the like button. I'm Chef Tony Matassa, and remember, at bbqguys.com, we smoke the competition.